right, so we'll start off with Link versus Game of Watch. Uh, probably a matchup you don't really see many places, but hey, whatever. Uh, I would imagine. Yeah, I was just about to say these low percent strings would probably work really well on Link because Link has no real. Oh, nice shield. Link has no real options to like. He doesn't have a fast aerial to like get out of this pressure that Game of Watch could provide. But in general, it's like Game of Watch is gonna be at that percent like now. Like he'll probably die to a forward tilt ledge. I kind of just commentated curse that. <laughs> that was all right, so Rosh got an. Oh, okay. All right, there you go. Drift them off stage or not. <laughs> right, so I was gonna say that Brock's got a decent lead to work with right here, but he immediately got sent to the disadvantage by Game Watch. Game Watch in his advantage state is he's pretty decent. He, he, he can rack up damage really well, but his neutral is pretty lackluster, so it's pretty hard. It's kind of similar to to Link, really. Like. Link's neutral is pretty, it's just him spamming projectiles through. Oh, nice, up smash rate. It's like, he, I don't know why he up smashed there, he kind of just threw it out, because he hadn't really rolled from there before, but hey, whatever works. So, after taking a huge deficit in the beginning, mine immediately brought his back. And he's got a bucket. Or, one third of a bucket. At this point, Brock's just kind of... Oh! Whoa. That was a really unexpected kill. <laughs> and a very quick game. I'm pretty sure that game was about a minute. Yeah, we can't. They didn't let us see the time. Alright, so I heard Brock in the background. He said he banned Town City. Um, so, I think he's going to go Triplat, probably. Yeah, Triplat. You don't want to put Link on FD. Like, Link's... This advantage of FD gets even worse because like he has no real landing options, but he's still got like the option to spam projectiles at you and make his neutral a little bit better. Like Brock says he doesn't like going Bat, Bat says he doesn't like going to, to FD because of that. he says that when he goes in disadvantage, he it's really hard for him to get back to neutral. And advantage for that matter. Alright, so this is there at the ledge, just putting a little bit of work in. <laughs> Dash tag punish. Let's go. Down throw. Oh, okay. All right. Up beat out of there. I thought he was going to up tilt. All right. Down throw. Up tilt now. All right. That's a pretty decent thing about uh, Link's uh, down throw up air or his hoo-ha or whatever. It's actually like kind of hard to avoid. And he's, got, he's got two frame by that forward kill, not bad. It's kind of hard to avoid because like even if you air dodge, you just get the weak hit of the up air, which can still kind of kill you at higher percent. So, uh, you see, I feel like you just have to try to jump out. Because the window for it isn't really that large. Like the window where you'll actually get hit by it isn't really that large. So if you air dodge, you're going to get frame trapped by the long lasting hitbox. Oh! All right. Alright, that's an up smash. Didn't connect though. Oh! That's funny little jab pressure. Like, jab pressure, run back and forth, and forward smash. Little bait. <laughs> that down air was so, like, rock. Yeah, he kind of just died for it. He's like, he's like, oh, I'm gonna go for this down air, even though it's not gonna kill, and it's gonna put me in disadvantage and at the ledge as Link, which isn't very useful. He's there at the ledge. Mine's trying to figure out how to get through it. He gets grabbed. I feel like in that situation, mine probably could have, like, I don't know, just try to use one of his, try to use one of his disjoint aerials to like, maybe get, maybe get past an approach if he tried to approach him at the ledge. He's really struggling to get in here. He's, he's getting grabbed, and Link isn't really a character that he's not much of a grappler. That's a regrab. No punish though. Um, this, yo, this Brock is really getting this two frame. <laughs> uh, down throw nine. Nah, you won't even connect that one. Oh, no, like oh my god, I thought. I th <laughs> down throw. Alright, let's go. Alright, no jump. He's gonna pull out a bomb. Uh, down air. Oh, wait, what just happened? I didn't have a jump. Yeah, I know that, but I thought you still, like, go. I don't know. Alright. Yeah, 
he, I, he didn't get he didn't have his jump there. All right, so that's one one. Uh, we're about to go to game three, and um, I imagine that mine's gonna let's get a ban FD probably. So we're going to Smashville, I think. No DSR, so. This match was really short the first game. So but mine made some justice game too. Hopefully can for his sake. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh that was true. I guess since he's super floaty and he has the up beat, get out of it. This is more of the same. Yeah, like he's backing him in that corner with that ledge and he's stab well, not right now, now he's at the ledge. But he was establishing his stage control early and it's like, alright. Come at me, like, I'm gonna keep throwing out these aerials, and your game watch, you're gonna have to approach in the air, so. And if you dash tag, I got this down tilt. Dash tag. Oh, that was jab at the ledge, okay. I didn't know that was useful. <laughs> Bacon, let's go. Oh, no jump? No, he does. Uh, that was a smart. I don't know if it was shield poke or shield drop, but that was pretty smart. I'm pretty sure his shield was about to break. So that forward smash. Alright, that was a new option. Nice. Ledge hop uh, in there. That's death. Oh, it's not death. Alright, good DI. So, Brock's established a little lead right here. Alright, the Nair's got him again. Brock's established a little bit of a lead right here. He's. Doesn't need to approach. Oh, I wonder if that was supposed to be a fair. I'm not sure if it would have connected at that percentage and because of game watch, but I think that was supposed to be a fair, like a bond affair. Me too. Yeah, alright, do that back throw, because down throw. Oh, that really shouldn't have worked, but hey, it did. Grab eight. What's he gonna do with it? Down air. All right, now your hands. Let's go. Down throw nair. Okay. All right, nice shield pressure right there. Oh, nice. What we call shield pressure in Smash Four. Oh, all right, that was kind of greedy. He just like kind of rolled and down smash. Good up smash. Alright, so this game is even. This is one game of watch string from taking a pretty decent lead right here. But he's still struggling to get in with that, with that sword in the way. I feel like. Like. If, if uh, mine could like take advantage of like fox shotting like back and forth right here, so that Brock would use commit with one of his tilts or his jab or something, which are a slow and then have like pretty decent cooldown, and then maybe he can go in and get a grab. But he's, he's still much of the same struggling to get in right here. He's got to try to mix up his approach. Oh, all right, I thought that was gonna be spike, but wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, uh, down throw 9 will connect though, so. Down throw, and 8! <laughs> wait, wait, game one, uh, Mime got like 4 or 5 9 last week, so this is pretty funny, because we're expecting to get him some more. He's just not able, he just hasn't been able to get as much percentage as a game of watch would like once he gets grabbed, and that down smash is going to take it. Alright, uh, pretty nice set overall. Uh, good games. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know who we're gonna have next. 